Hey everyone, this is graphic designer Roberto Blake and welcome to another Photoshop CC tutorial. This is another beauty retouching tutorial and today once again we're going to be using the photography work of John Covington. You can check out his work at jcov.net. Um, now in this beauty retouching tutorial we're going to be doing a focus on skin. And I'm actually going to show you what the original image looked like. All right. And you can see that we've done a lot of work to get from one point to our end product here. Now again, I'm not going to be walking you through every single step that I did aside from the work that I did on the skin, just like we did in our retouching lips tutorial. Uh, we're going to be focused on just one thing here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to be using the spot heel and heel brush tool to remove the blemishes. And then we're going to focus on cleaning up the skin with some airbrushing while retaining the texture. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm just going to go ahead and trash this layer that I already have. or rather this layer group, I should have said. And we're going to zoom in a little bit. All right, now this is a beautiful model, but there is some room for improvement here. So we're going to go ahead and create a new layer. We're going to go ahead and make sure that our spot healing brush is selected. And on our new layer, we're going to go ahead and spot heal some of these blemishes. Now, you could use the healing brush for this if you want, but I'm doing the spot heal brush for the sake of speed. And for me, this is working out fairly well. There are going to be instances where you'll want to use the heel brush and where you'll want to select a area of skin as your source and then um, work with that. And by working on a clear layer above our original, that's allowing us to work non-destructively. That's really important to note. And working non-destructively means that if we had to, it wouldn't be e um, very difficult to um, undo a lot of what we're doing here. And, you know, I in my mind, that's the best way to work. Now, granted, when we, um, you know, move forward, we're going to merge those layers so that we, um, you know, um, don't take up more resources in Photoshop than we absolutely need to. All right, that's actually um, pretty okay. Now the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make a selection of our masked out model. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm actually going to um, use the control button uh, command for those of you using Mac. And then I'm going to click on the mask of the layer of our cutout model here. Then I'm going to select the actual thumbnail of the image itself. And then I'm going to use Control J for those of you using Mac. It's going to be Command J. All right, voila. I'm going to merge these two layers. And now I'm going to use a Filter Gaussian Blur. Alternatively, you could actually use um, the high pass filter method and you could um, soften the skin that way. And um, you could do that, but in my case, I'm just going to use um, good old Gaussian Blur.
I think that actually looks okay. And with Gaijin Blur, just use your own best judgment. I think that's okay, and that's what I'm going to go with here. And if I needed to do more, I obviously can go back and do that because I'm working on another layer here. Alright, so now we've done our Gaussian Blur. Now, what we can do from here, is we can go ahead and we can select Alt, hold down our Add Layer Mask, and that mask that out. Now, using our brush, we'll make sure that white is selected because, as you know, um, white reveals and black conceals when we're dealing with mask. So we'll want to go ahead and make sure we have white selected. Um, we can go ahead and set the maximum opacity for this layer to 80% or so so that we retain some of the texture and so we don't have to worry about it. And we can just go ahead and we can start painting over the areas of the skin that we want to soften up using our Gaussian Blur. And of course we can zoom in for this so that we can make it a little easier. I'll just go ahead and make my brush size bigger. Um, I recommend using a Wacom tablet when you're doing this because it'll just make it easier to control your brush. Whoops. I'll just control Z there. And with your layer mask selected, go ahead and start doing this. This is what's known as um, airbrushing in Photoshop. And taken to the extreme, this creates those uh, perfect layers of skin that you are um, used to seeing in magazines um, where it's overly done and they take 20 years off of the subject. In this, we're not really trying to do that much. Um, this is um, a beautiful girl. Um, she's you know young enough already. Um, we don't need to take things to the nth degree here, but we do just want to um, you know soften this up. The key areas that you want to avoid when you're doing this is you don't want to get too close to the eyes, um, the lips, um, certain areas of the nose, but you do want to make sure that you um, get areas of the forehead, broad areas like the cheeks. You know, you want to get these things that people are going to pay a lot of attention to. All right, so we've zoomed out, and as you can see, it makes a world of difference. Now, obviously, we could blur this more if we want to. Um, I could actually select um, the thumbnail of our model itself. I can go back up to Filter. I can duplicate this Gaussian Blur again or I can do a, a fresh Gaussian blur and I can just take that you know even further if I want to that actually doesn't look like it'll be too bad all right Let's 
some of these areas in the neck here. And again, with this, just use your own discretion as far as how you want to approach this and how much is too much. Um, by using 60% um, and also using the 80% cap on the overall layer, um, I've effectively retained some of the texture in uh, my original. Another way you can do that is utilizing the blend modes. And um, I believe you can use, uh, not soft light, I think you can use lighten. There we go. With some skin textures, you can use soft light. Um, I believe that will work actually in the case of um, darker skin, but in the case of lighter skin, you need to use something like lighten, and that'll help you, um, you know, still retain more of your texture and still get the effect you want, and you can still see the drastic difference it makes. But now it may not look um, quite as overdone. But if you still think you want that um, look that we had, you can go to normal, and then it's dramatically softer. But if you want to retain more of the texture, one of the best ways you can do that is by changing the blend modes. You can also use the overall opacity as we did, and use your brush set with an opacity of 60 or lower as a cap to kind of control this more. Um, using a Wacom tablet and the flow can help as well. But um, if you don't happen to have a Wacom tablet, in general, these tools and um, these methods will still work just fine. And as you can see, from our original to what we actually have now, there's a huge world of difference. Um, that skin is looking beautiful, and we've still retained a lot of the texture and the original beauty of the model. Um, in terms of overall contrast, you can see that using... Um, different tools and using um, dodge and burn that have done some additional work here you can bring out some of the um, details that you feel like you may have blurred out just a little bit by using the um, dodge tool to create a little more contrast if you want um, and that'll certainly help things one of the things I like to do is I like to as we saw in the lips tutorial go back over um, the lips and I'll just go back around some of these areas here that I know need to have a little more definition now that we've blurred some things and I'll just kind of recreate some of that definition right there with the um, shape of the nose and cheeks there voila all right well, that's it for this Photoshop CC Beauty retouching tutorial. Again, this is the photography work of John Covington that we've done some retouching today. He's an amazing photographer and a friend of mine. You can check out his work at jcub.net. This is part of an ongoing collaboration between us, so stay tuned for more tutorials in this series. Um, go ahead and leave any comments below requesting tutorials or more tips, um, or if you don't feel I answered all of your questions in this one, uh, feel free to address that in the comments below. Like this video if you like it, share, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next Photoshop CC tutorial video. Thanks for watching.